field in control of Thomas Geiser on the pole. And he accelerates now and we are in the way for season four of the VR IndyCar Euro series. And it is a clean start for now. Car is already going too wide there in the background. That's Oscar Fredrickson losing a position to Sebastian Kinder as we complete lap number one here this season. And Thomas Geiser led that lap around. But Jasper Eriksson right with him on the inside now of the German. Takes the lead for just a brief moment. Let's see what Thomas can do with the momentum on the high side though. As everybody in the back of the field is trying to look for some clean air. Very clean start, I have to say. So let's uh, take a look at Alejandro Del Campo. He actually raced with us almost a year ago in the Formula One Championship when we organized that. Um, good to see him back in a VUR league and uh, racing in the top six positions now as he tries to make a move on the inside there of Morgan Butler, but gets a first lesson of dirty air in IndyCar over racing, has to get out of the throttle, loses two uh, spots to Godso and Rushworth, who are also racing side by side. Gary on the inside in the VUR car, of course, as always. And uh, Jamie on the high side with the momentum. Easily pulls clear of Gary. All that inside groove. Doesn't quite have the momentum off the turn to really make anything work there, though. So, Oh, there's the first car that just brushed the wall. That was Lewis Woodall. Biggest mover, though. Jamie Rushworth started P10. Up to P4 already. As he goes to the inside again of Geisler to swap the lead once again. Oh, there's a big checkup for position here. P7 this is, I think. Between Gary Gossel, Robert Sander and Alejandro Del Campo, I believe it is. As Gary is work, uh, Robert's working on the outside of Del Campo here. Out of turn two. Very nice run off the corner. Picks up the draft from his teammate. And clears Del Campo for P7. So the two VR guys slowly moving forwards. And that is actually Oscar Fredrickson just in front of Oscar there. Gary just dropped back a little bit. But Thomas Geisler is the first car to come into the pits. He has been the car that led the most laps until this point. So not completely unsurprising. He is the first car to be short on fuel to come into the pits. It was right around here, I think. Oh, that's Lewis way up the racetrack. Rushes the wall. I think he got away with it, though. Oh, so that's uh, Robert flying by on the high side. Lewis just pushes up into the, into the wall. Actually, right up to the wall. Just misses it. Oh, Seb. Oh, Seb shuts the door and Thomas Geiser that takes all the air of Thomas's front wing. That was a very aggressive move halfway into this one. I'm not sure Thomas is going to be very happy to see that. And I think he is going to be saying a few bad words in German. As he gets passed by Jamie Rushworth as well. It's a legal move, but I don't think Thomas is going to be happy with this one. Actually clears him again on the high side, but Thomas is not going to be happy with that move behind the car in front as Robert Sadler has issues Robert Sadler in the wall out of turn two and that's completely destroyed the right side of his car and he comes to a stop and that is day done for Robert Sadler so Robert on the outside line comes down the track a little bit Jasper moves up slightly and the two simply just make contact which actually they bang wheels and that banging of wheels sends Robert into the wall and basically kills his car and Jasper without too much damage able to continue and Rushworth really likes flirting with the outside wall out of, out of turn two and turn four we saw him brush it earlier on in the race I don't think he's got any damage from it at least by the looks of it he's mixing it up for the race lead up here so I think he's fine as again he gets really close and a clear pit out as well 
So fresh fire stones on the car, new fuel in the car as well to go the distance. 26 laps to go. Geyser is already in front of Rushworth. And it's a very slow stop for Jamie, so loses all the progress that he made up. Of course, he started from P10, got up to second, even into the lead before Geisler pitted. But now he's all the way down in P10, 10 seconds behind the guy who he was previously racing. So Oscar still racing with Patrick. Patrick just got by him. As uh, they're actually racing with Seb Kinder now for P2. So they've caught up to Seb. Seb ran with Geisler all race long. But uh, Geisler at the moment absolutely checked out on the rest of the field. 3.5 seconds clear of Kinder. Oh, Seb once again with the... Uh, Door shutting maneuver, I guess. Just taking the air off Oscar Fredericks and his car, being very aggressive. Dominant drive since that mistake from Seb Kinder. Never looked back. Out of turn four, uh, Thomas Geisler exits turn four across the start finish line. He wins the California 200, the season opener for 2022 in the VR IndyCar Euro Series, powered by Apex Stage Coaching. Sebastian Kinder comes across the line in P2, and Patrick Silvassi rounds off the podium. Two Team Watson Racing cars on that podium. They take the team's championship standings lead. With Oscar Fredrickson finishing in the fourth position. Jamie Rushworth finishes in P5. Holds on to that position from Jasper Eriksson. On his first oval start with VUR. As well as Jamie by the way it has to be said. Good job to both of them. P5 and P6. Alejandro Docampo brings it home a lap down in P7.